it do, what it do, man. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I'm finna take you on the day of life of me doing this cargo van business, this carrier business. Um, right now I'm headed to my first destination. I have to drive 87 miles and I'm getting paid $171. So I'm roughly making a like a little over two dollars a mile, which is very good for a cargo van. That's a very good rate. So um, that's what I'm heading to do now. I have to pick up in um, Port St. Lucie, Florida, and I'm taking my delivery to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So that's where I'm headed now. I think I have like 30 more miles to drive to get to my destination. Pick up. So that's a, another key thing too, man. When um you in this business, you want to get, you want to make sure you getting paid your worth, man. What you worth, you know. And if you're on a load board and you um bidding, you know, try to bid um you know for a good on um, rate, man. You know, because a lot of people, man, they they taking these loads for little or nothing, and um you're not gonna you're not gonna um be successful in this business doing that, you know. I feel like the least you should get is a dollar a mile. The least you should get. There should be no reason why you ain't getting a dollar a mile. No reason at all. You should be at least getting a dollar a mile. If you can negotiate two dollars a mile, that's amazing. You know, and you got some places where you can get more than that. You know, definitely on local routes. Local routes because it's not that many miles. Uh, you can still make some good money. You know. Just depends on how many um how many runs you do. That's the whole key. Just think about it like this. Say if you local and you only get like forty dollars, fifty dollars for each um delivery. I mean you do ten of those in a day, that's four hundred to five hundred dollars in one day you just made. You know? Even if you do like six or seven, you still making about three hundred dollars in one day, that's good money for one day. That's real good money. You're gonna have slow days, you're gonna have fast days gonna have really amazing days you know you're gonna have days where you know it's not it's not that good it's not that profitable but you know when you're doing what you love you're creating your business um i think that's the best part of it all that's the part that feels like so good you know it's a beautiful thing man it's a beautiful thing it's early in the morning, so I'm still looking a little sleepy. <laughs> but the early bird get the worm. Please believe that. The early bird gets the worm every time. And don't let them tell you nothing different. The early bird most definitely get the worm. Yeah. So I get back with y'all in a little bit. I'm um, headed to this first destination. Pick up this freight. Get it to my destination. So I get with y'all in a second. Another day, getting to the bag. You feel me? Let's see if I can get me another load real quick. No, double up real quick. Sometimes you gotta double up. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta double up. Best way to do it, two high. Like that's the best way to stake it, like two of them. What are they gonna do about the third one? I mean the second one, you don't know yet. He tried to. He's trying to make it happen. Yeah, because it makes sense. Yeah, it do make sense. That'll be perfect. That would be perfect. You gotta go right down there too. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. 
sideways. Yeah, no, nah, you're right. Yeah, put it in the middle. You're right about that. Absolutely. What's good, y'all? All right, I'm about to go on my second delivery for the day. Get to this bag. Trying to just show y'all like a day in the life of, of how I do this. You feel me? Yeah. It's pretty dope. I use my, um, I'm going to tell you how I do it. I, um, I keep my van parked at my crib, so I use my crib as like my office. So like when, I, when I'm doing local and I don't have a delivery yet, I come home, chill for a little bit. Next thing you know, as soon as you get relaxed, I might eat a little snack. Next thing you know, a delivery coming in, I ain't got to go back out there and get back to it. <laughs> it never fell, but it's all good. It's all good. Get to this bag though, man. Enough money ain't enough money. Stay getting to this bag, man. I like doing them little local runs, man. Them local runs. I done made them the way they they work for me. You know, I used to go over the road all the time. I don't do that anymore. Straight local. Come home at the end of the day. A lot of times I'd be done by three, four o'clock. I'd be done. Start first thing in the morning. I wake up at five a.m. Um, sometime I might have a delivery already set for in the morning, so I'll be at the um, pickup spot at 7 a.m. So I get up by 5.36. I set my alarm like four different times <laughs> until I get tired of that. That final one, and I finally get up and get to the money. <sighs> yeah, man. But I like it. I can't complain. You know, it's my own business. It's, it's no feeling like you know, when I'm inside the van and I'm just like, dang, I own this. This is mine. It's like, I pay taxes on this. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Sometimes it's surreal. I can't even front, you know? And then the good thing about it, you building your business credit. You, you building so much by having a business. Like, when you have your own business, man, you building so much. I don't even think people understand that. You know what I mean? You building a real foundation to where it's going to really help you in the long run it's gonna help you it's gonna help you get to where you're trying to get to in life man you know once you done stacked up enough money you can take vacations and trips and as many days off as you want you know and you got somebody else driving your vans and you know now you live in your life man that's how you make your money work for for you instead of for you working for the money your money work for you you know i can't complain you know Taking y'all on my journey, showing y'all how I do it, man. We're about to head to this pickup spot. It's not too far. I think about uh, maybe about 10 miles from where I'm at. So I'm about to go pick up this little order. And I don't even have to drop it off that far. Like, it's like a, about a 15 minute drive to where I'm going. And then there's about another 15, 20 minute drive to where I'm dropping it off. Hopefully, I get another order come in 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 the process of me doing all that, which that's how I like it. I like to just keep moving. I like to keep the orders coming in, just keep going. You know, that's how I like to do it. <sighs> yep. Yeah, man. This it right here, though. Laid back, chilling. Ain't no boss. Ain't no overhead. Ain't nobody telling you what to do. And watching over you and ain't none of that going on you your own boss you know you got to treat this like how if you had a child you know or if you don't have a child but if you do like treat it like if you had a, a baby like that's how you got to treat your business you got to take great care of it you know you got to take great care of your business man don't take it for granted you know it took a lot of sacrifice to get to where i'm at right now I got a real story to tell. I'm gonna tell y'all my story one day. A real story to tell, man. I'll tell you one thing, it didn't fall on my lap. I had to go and get it. And a lot of doors is closed. I mean, so many doors is getting closed on me. Oh my goodness. That's the most frustrating part ever, though. But then, next thing you know, all you need is just that one door to open. That one door open up, that's when everything started changing. Things start falling into place. That's how life works, though, man. Even when starting this business, like I always tell y'all, if y'all go watch some of my old videos, I say, like, that first week, and I, I, I was on the load board. I had got a, I had got a dispatcher that 
allowed me to be on their load board and pick my own loads. And it actually, like, I already knew how to dispatch because I took a dispatching course. So I knew how to do that. But it was good to have hands-on talking with the shippers and brokers and all that. That was, that was pretty dope. But um, my first week, I ain't had nothing. No runs, no nothing. I was like, dang, why well, I invested all this money? And, eh. <laughs> ain't, it, ain't even got no runs yet, man. You know what I mean? But I ain't, I ain't let that deter me, though. I kept saying, man, this ain't, you know what I mean? It's just the first week, you know? And like the dispatcher told me, he said, man, you might have to call 100 shippers before you get one load. And he wasn't lying. I had to call a lot. But I told myself, after that week was over with, that next week on that Monday, I said, man, I'm going to get up. Because the low boys just started jumping by 6, 7 in the morning. So I told myself, I'm going to get up at like 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be on that low board. I'm going to make sure I get me a load this week. And I'll be there. And I can swear, y'all, the load started popping up. And I seen a load. Hurry up and got the info, copy and paste, sent the email over for the offer. And then I also, I picked up the phone and, uh, and called the shipper. And, you know, I'm like hitting them on like, hey, uh, I want, I, I see y'all got this load coming out of Miami going to Virginia. Um, I said, is that load still available? Like that, and I'm telling him like, you know, like the deal, the MC number and, and the company that I was on um, with and everything. And then he like, let me see if that's available. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's still available. And I, I said, yeah, I sent over a bid for my offer, you know. And, uh, and then I let him like, what's your bid? And I told him, and he was like, he said, you know what, we can do that. Hung up the phone, he said, I'm going to send over all the info, man. Next thing you know, I got that email saying it's a go. He sent over everything, that BOL. Man, it was the best feeling ever. I ain't even going to front. It was the best feeling ever, man. Best feeling ever. I can't even front. That was a good trip, though. I think like my first trip, I made like $1,000. Like my first trip. And then I made money coming back. I made like maybe like another 700 coming back. I, I couldn't get a load while I was at because it was like a, a dead area where you can't, it was just wasn't no, really no action there, but I caught something like a little further down. But it was good. I, I wasn't even tripping. But, you know, I think in life, man, just what you, it's what you make of it, it's what you put in it. Um, we, are, we humans, man, we're able to accomplish a lot, man. And, um, you know, sometimes we can just be living life and life will just fly past us and we forget about a lot of things and, we, you know, we be like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then we started like, you know, got the nine to five and we just, you know, we just land time flying before you know it, like all the things you wanted to accomplish, you haven't accomplished. And sometimes you just got to buckle down, man, and just say, you know what, man, I'm going to put all my energy in this and I'm going to make this happen. You know, and it's so crazy when you're doing that, a lot of people not going to understand what you're doing. They're not going to get it. And it ain't for them to get. So that's why I always tell y'all, you got to block out all the noise. You have to. Because if you don't, you, you might let somebody's opinion of what they think of what you're doing, you might let that throw you off on what you're trying to get to. And everybody got that vision. We know and see what we're trying to get to. We know it. We see what we're trying to get to. When you know it and you see what you're trying to get to, man, you gotta like be like this. Put your hater blockers on. Just be like that. Tunnel vision, like Kodak Black say. You gotta have that comp that, that that tunnel vision. You know what I mean? When you get that tunnel vision, man, sh sky's the limit. I'm telling you. Sky's the limit, man. I'm telling y'all, like, like, I'm telling y'all. Sometimes I feel like I gotta pinch myself, man. Cause like, think, like, I woke up this morning. I think, think the man above, man. And it's like now, I'm heading. In my in van I own, my business that I own, I'm heading, I'm going to pick up a delivery and I'm going to drop it off. I'm going to do a good service and I'm going to get paid for it on the regular. Like, I mean, it's no feeling better than that. It's no feeling better than that. Can't nothing top that, I swear. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever, man. Best feeling ever, man. Like I was saying, uh, also, y'all, I'm doing, uh, have a lot of people ask me a lot of questions, so I'm, I'm doing the consultations now, so the link is in the bio. You just click on the link, the calendar link, and uh, set up your, your time, and, you know, when you want to, uh, we'll do a Zoom, and, you know, and I'll walk you through the business, you know, any questions you really have or things you need to know, I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to bless you. You know, one day I might make a course, step-by-step -step course, get you all the way on the ground, get you all the way to 
where you should have loads and you should be working and you should be making a profit. You know, that's one day in the future, but you know, for now I'm gonna keep hanging out with the free game, with the YouTube, you know, and, and just keep, just showing y'all how, how my life get, how my day is, just showing y'all how I get down. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like I said, I can't even front, thank God. You know, I'm in sunny South Florida, you know. It get real hot sometimes, but you know, keep the AC on, it's all good. You know, but like I always tell y'all, the kid just finding the, you know, first getting that name, having that name that you really like, uh, getting your LLC, making sure your name available, doing your research on your vehicles, figure out which one you want. I always say get maybe a medium roof or a high roof. Get a medium roof or a high, I mean, you can do it with a lower roof, but get a medium roof or a high roof. Because you don't want to limit yourself. You want to make sure you have more opportunities and um, you know, you just want to be able to just you don't want to you don't want to be turned down like you don't want to see a load that's paying a lot of money or a delivery or something that you can make a lot of money on but you don't have the right size vehicle and it's like dad just missed out on all that money you know now you got to wait for something else to come through it's like you don't want that you don't want to have them problems that's an unnecessary problem you know you want to have exactly what you're supposed to have and keep it moving you know I'm gonna give y'all some game too. When I um sometimes I get tired and uh you know been working all day long, you want something to give you a little boost and ain't got no sugar in it, no corn syrup, no no nothing, no you know what I mean? I always I always drink this right here. I keep me one of these. <laughs> that Celsius, man, zero sugar. Can't go wrong. I love these things, I swear. It's perfect. Now I gotta drink some, because I done picked it up. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it right there. But yeah, man, I'm gonna keep hitting y'all with this content, man. Hit y'all with these vlogs, man, on, on how my day go. I'm just walking y'all through this whole uh, this whole little thing real quick, man. I'm about to go pick up my what I'm picking up. It ain't even that much. What I have to pick up. Oh, there go my other phone. Yeah, that's not even that much. What I have to pick up. Picking up two pieces is only only 50 pounds total. 50 pounds total weight. Two pieces. Not even going far. It's a beautiful thing. Yep. And what I like too, thank um, uh, you know. That, that's is a good thing. A lot of the local runs, you're making like two, three dollars a mile, you know. And it's crazy because when you know when you go over the road, you go on a, a more longer distance, and they mostly paying you like eighty-five cent or a dollar a mile. Sometimes you might get one twenty-five, one fifty, somewhere around now. No local loads, two dollars, three dollars a mile, five dollars a mile, eight dollars a mile. Them local loads vary, boy. Local, them local loads hit different. I like them local loads. It's just all about your hustle, too, man. You know, anything you do in life is what you put into it. That's how it is. It's what you put into it, man. That's how life works. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm almost to my destination already, man. While, while I'm here chatting it up, talking to y'all, I'm almost to my pickup already. You feel me? Already to my pickup, man. Got to pick this up real quick and keep it moving. Yeah. Well, I'll see y'all in a minute, man. I'm going to get back with y'all once I pick this order up. What it do? I just made it to my drop-off. I'm at a house, I guess they building some kind of house or something. So I'm finna drop this paint off. That's what I got right there. So I'm finna drop all that off. I'm gonna drop that off. Then I'm gonna get to the next spot. Hope for another order to come in so I can keep it popping. Y'all keep it locked. Y'all know what it is. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stick with us, we got you. I'm out of here. Yay. Yeah.